Hello, my wonderful, amazing artists. It's me, Miss Abby, your art teacher. And today, we are thinking back to the beginning of the school year when we were creating self-portraits. Remember, portrait is an artwork that focuses on the face and the shoulders and depicting a person's likeness or how they look. Self, that's you, like a selfie. We did self-portraits back in the fall, a really, really long time ago, at the beginning of the school year, back in the past. Now, we have grown for almost like a whole school year as artists, and I want to see how much our skills have grown over this year. So, we're going to try another self-portrait, and I would love to, and I would love for us to reflect and see how we have gotten better at drawing over the school year. So we remember the parts of our face and the parts of a portrait by singing head, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes, eyes and ears and mouth and nose, head, shoulders, knees and toes. That is how I like it when we remember, or that is how I remember all the parts of a portrait. And I know we all know this because we did it in the beginning of the year. So let's do it again. Now we're going to start with the head and shoulders first. When I do a head or a face, I start with either a circle or an oval shape. That's like a circle smushed. And if you want to get your circle perfect, you can use a tracer like this paper plate will work great. But I'm going to go freestyle, and if you are stuck and don't quite understand what shape your face is, you can look in the mirror or at a picture, and in some ways our computers and iPads are like our mirrors. There we have it, a big oval, and a neck, and some shoulders. And now, head, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes, eyes and ears and mouth and nose. Let's go. Eyes are first. And I like to do eyes in the middle of the head. Not up here. That would look weird. And down here would look weird, too. In the middle. And I draw eyes shaped kind of like footballs. And then we put our uh, pupil inside. And remember, everybody's got eyelashes and eyebrows. Eyes and ears are on the same level and they're shaped like a letter C or letter D. Mouth Maths help us express our feelings. And nose. I like to do half a triangle nose. Now, we've got all the basics down, but we gotta add personality to this. And this could be anybody. So we gotta add some fashion. Maybe I got glasses, so I gotta add my glasses. And some cool hair. I'm also kind of wondering, since with our old self-portraits, I kind of wonder if any of us have made changes to our appearance and our style. Did anyone get glasses? Or maybe has a missing tooth? Or changed their hair in some way? I don't know. Maybe interesting to see and compare. Or definitely. You can always give yourself some different outfits. That's fun. So now we have all the lines done. Now let's add some color. Now I'm going to have to... Now all the lines are done. Let's add some color. Oh. Okay. So I've got my color, I picked out a color that I think looks like my skin tone. I'm probably going to use a couple different colors though, because I'm seeing when I'm looking in the mirror that 
there's different colors in my face. Like there's shadows and lights and there's things like my lips are a different color than my face. And I see details like my glasses that I want to get right. Ta-da! Here is my self-portrait. And I would love Here's my self-portrait all colored in, and I had a lot of fun. My favorite part was picking out what color striped top I was going to wear. And I really had to give this a try. Let me know how it goes. And remember, even if you don't notice, you're learning and growing new things in art all the time. Because to be good at being an artist is just to practice and make a little art every day. And I know you all have improved in drawing yourself portraits, and I can't wait to see that growth. Bye, have fun making art.